So, again, didn't find a solution to hold this phone, but anyway, if you look there, it's a, um, it is a preheat plate um, going to toward 200 degrees there, um, and that 300 uh, solder will melt and I protected the rest of the motherboard it's not the phone, it's just the motherboard I, I took the motherboard out so it's within this plus um, aluminum foil to protect it from heat so dissipate heat easier I just left um, the under um, the place under the, the SIM card um, It's um, it will take up uh, some heat and then I'll, uh, I'll come with a heat gun I have here uh, also a uh, uh, infrared but I don't want to use it so I'm gonna use the heat gun um, but I mean this procedure can be done I mean don't look at my equipment which is not even professional here I mean it's just semi-professional uh, okay but you can do this without uh, using this kind of things you can um, use a heat gun uh, from the underneath and then preheat it so it just go to medium or something like that so don't go too high don't go high high and then uh, try to even up the heat on the motherboard and then uh, in one go uh, you just go on top of it and you just blow um, the, the serious, uh, serious heat but uh, I mean if you don't have this kind of equipment then it's better to kind of uh, break the shielding so the uh, this just cut it with a scissors because this will go uh, oops sorry I'm off camera there um, cut like that with a scissor and then uh, try to bend it not too much uh, because if you bend this they will all break there are like uh, three hooking points one here one here one here maybe yes three three so it's one or two three because okay and then and just try to cut this and then cut it like that and then you hit here and you take this part out and you hit here which are very very close so if you just hit it with a heat gun and then with the tweezers you take that part out and then you just cut again so you just cut in four and then you get four of them okay and then uh, the plastic thing here is just gonna be in one go uh, don't rush to take it out just make sure that uh, it flows when you heat it up it flows so you just uh, take because if you rip one of these uh, bastards out they're like six pins or something if you rip one of those bastards out it's just um, the end of the world. I mean, it's just the repair is not never gonna be a uh, cleanly repair. So that's your weak point. Say, <coughs> just to make sure that you you pay attention to that. And uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave it here to cook. Uh, yeah, it started to hit a little bit. It's okay because uh, you know it's a little bit above. So we're 200 under, but if air flows underneath, it takes a few degrees out. I'm not talking about in uh, Fahrenheit, I'm talking Celsius because I'm from Europe. Fahrenheit it just doesn't make sense, so too much sense for me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah I can do the transformation but I'm just uh, too tired for that today. Oops, okay, so I'm just gonna put it back. Uh, this is not uh, not the end of the world here. Okay. Um, yep, this is awkward because I need to set it up and then yeah, my thing here is just not very um, stable, so... Yeah. But uh, fortunately these things are not that... Uh, I mean, not as fragile as you think. Everybody wants to make this illusion and people just say, Hey, be scared of this, don't break them, you know, don't fix them yourself. But it's, it's not like that, people, so just be a bit realistic. And, uh, just be cool about it. You can do it. I believe you can. Okay? Good, good. So I'm just gonna apply heat from above, and uh, <coughs> and um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you after because uh, I can't, I can't, uh, I don't have a stand. I'm just in my hands. Okay, good, good. See you.